So, good day everyone. This is example 3 on statical stability of floating bodies and this is the problem. A wooden barge of rectangular cross section is 8 meters wide, 4 meters high, and 16 meters long. It is navigating in seawater of specific gravity 1.03 with a total load including its own weight and cargo of 1,500 kN. If a weight of 75 kN is shifted 2.5 meters to one side on the top level, it will cause the barge to go down 450 mm in the wedge of immersion and rises 450 mm in the corresponding wedge of immersion. The barge floats vertically on an even keel uh, before the shifting of the weight. So it is in the upright position before the shifting of the weight. Determine the draft and the angle of hill. Then how far above the waterline is the center of gravity of the loaded barge? So let's draw the figure in the tilted position when the 75 kilonewton load is shifted 2.5 meters to one side on the top level, so that to the right of the axis of symmetry. This black line is the original water's line. It was horizontal. And this is now the tilted position. This is denote the draft. This is the base with 8 meters wide and the draft is D. This is 450 mm or 0.45 uh, meter when the 75 kilonewton load is shifted. So this is the original axis of symmetry. Uh, this is BO. BO is located half of D from the bottom and half of the original waterline section which is this block here from the original waterline section or from this waterline section final so BO will be shifted to the right at this position BO prime so it is where the buoyant force of 1500 kilonewton acts then this is the meta center and called the theta which is also this angle here theta then uh, this is half of 8, so 4 meters. So 1,500 minus 75 is 1,425 kilonewtons. So the location of the center of gravity remains at this position, which is at distance x from the original waterline section. So this is 1,500, 1,425 plus 75, and that's 4 meters. So this, let's call the distance of the center of gravity from the waterline section as x. And the, this is 2.5 meters. So let's answer the first question. Weight equals buoyant force, where weight is 1,500 kN and buoyant force is specific weight of seawater 1.03 times 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times volume submerged or volume displaced, which is 8 times the draft times 16 meters long. So 1.03 times 9.81, quantity 8 times D times 16 meters. So from here, we can solve the draft equal to 1.16160 meters. Then for the angle of hill uh, from this triangle here, right triangle tangent theta is 0.45 over 4. So theta is 6.419 degrees. So knowing theta, we can now solve for the distance from M to BO or MBO, which is B square over 12 D quantity 1 plus tangent square of theta over 2. So substituting the data, uh, 8 square over 12 times 1.16 quantity 1 plus tangent square of 6.419 degrees over 2. So MBO is 4.627 meters. So having found MBO, we plan to, because this system is in equilibrium, we sum up moments about the convenient point is BO here. So we sum up moments about BO, but let's establish the distance. Moment arm of 1425 is X plus D over 2, 1.16 over 2 time sine of theta. So this moment arm of 1425 is quantity x plus 1.16 over 2 sine of theta. Of course, the moment arm of 1500 kilonewton force or the buoyant force is MBO sine theta. 
then let's resolve 75 into components parallel to the inclined top edge and perpendicular to the top edge so we have 75 cosine theta and the moment arm is 2.5 from BO and the other one is 75 sine of theta and the distance or moment arm of 75 sine theta from BO is 4 meters minus draft over 2 because this is draft over 2. So 4 minus 1.16 over 2 is 3.42. In other words, that's 4 minus 1.16 over 2. So that's 3.42 meters. So finally, summation of moments about BO equals 0 counterclockwise positives or counterclockwise moment is equal to clockwise moments. So 1,500 times MBO sine of theta is equal to 1,425 times quantity x plus 0.58 sine of 6.419 degrees then plus 75 sine theta times 3.42 sine of 6.419 degrees times 3.42 plus 75 cosine of 6.419 times 2.5 so that's the complete equations and terms so substituting mbo 1500 times 4.627 sine of 6.419 degrees equals 1425x sine of 6.419 degrees is 159.313x while 1425 times 0.58 sine of 6.419 degrees plus 75 sine of 6.419 degrees times 3.42 plus 75 cosine of 6.419 degrees times 2.5 is equal to 307.402. So leaving x as the only unknown in this last equation, so we can now solve for x using your calculator. So x is 2.941 meters. So that's the distance of the center of gravity from the waterline section. So that's it and I hope you were able to follow the solutions.